video now we can uh, create our own guessing game in python so uh if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do so and share this video to your friends so that they can also see what is in my video so let's start right away so the first step of creating your own guessing game in python is to have to create a folder and uh, i've created a folder so you can left click on your mouse button and can create that folder and name that folder as game so and then after that uh, the second thing you do the second step is uh, to open up your code editor if you have any code editor you can use a uh, visual studio code pycharm or any other code editor that you want to use so i'll use a uh, code editor so let me open up my code editor so after that when you open code editor you'll uh, see something like this so if you see if you see something like this now you'll uh, come to this uh, there are these options new file new folder refresh explorer and so on so what you want to do here you want to add a new file so you can click there and then after that you can uh, create your own file so what uh, this one is the name of the file so you have to put that name as game uh, you can name it game.py or any other thing but what is important here we have seen that i've used pi so uh, what what they really want here is a uh, uh when you don't use dot pi you won't show the code editor which language you're using but when you use dot pi you are actually showing the code editor which language you're using so uh this folder already exists i've created mine so create was there after that you open that file you right click it and then you'll see something like this sorry i've created my folder so after that now we want to create our first line of the code so the first thing we want to do here is to create our secret number and you can set it you can set it 20 to any number of actually so i'll set it as a uh, seven then press enter then go to the next line so we want to create, uh, create our guest count And set it to zero. Please set it. You cannot set it down in Just set it to zero. Then you go to the next one. Now this one is the guess limit. Guess underscore limit is equals to three. Now what this means is uh, the number of times that the user or the the person is playing the game, how many times you want him to try or a, a attempt how many attempts do you want him to have so you can set it to even five attempts or one attempt or any that you might like so we had one line break and then one now what we want to do next is we want to use a while loop so we just print while well guess count is less than guess limit so which our uh, fifth line of the code means that uh, while well, this guess count the number of times they uh, now this one is it is assumed that the user hasn't guessed yet but he has three limits so well this guess count is less than guess limit then the following things will be run so what we want to do next uh, we'll indent this we'll indent the next line so the next line we want to do we want to ask the user to guess so we'll uh, input And then uh, we'll ask the user to guess, and maybe a colon. Sorry, and maybe a colon. Uh, now, whatever the user will uh, return back is an integer. So, an integer is a number that doesn't have any point number or fractional part. So, we want to want to show that the we want to show the python interpreter that this one is an integer so we want to do by that by coming at the beginning of this line uh the beginning of the indentation then type int then put all this in the bracket yes that nicely done so after doing that the next thing we want to do is uh, to uh, store these in a variable and name it name it as a guess Ah, yes uh, after doing that we go to the next line press enter again now i want to increase this guess count plus one each, each and every time the user guess it is stored and then it says that the python interpreter that this user has guessed the number of times so i want to write, write guess count
plus is equals to one. Yes. So after doing that, we go to the next line. So we want to use an uh, if statement because whatever the user will uh, enter here, it will be one. It will be compared to to the secret number. So what if what if is it correct or what if uh, if it is wrong? What should we what should the program do? Now we want to use an if statement. Now if guess is equals to now you'll note that uh, I've used uh, two equal sign. This uh, is just uh, to show that we are comparing this variable with this one. So if you use one equal sign that means that we are changing the value of what the user enters. So guess is equals to if guess is equals to secret number then we should print congrats you won simply like that so the next thing we want to do we want to use a built-in function it is called break so you can type break at the end of that so what this built-in function means is that uh, if you run this program without this built-in function, you'll realize that the, after you even you've uh, guessed the correct number, the Python interpreter will tend to run the program again and again, even after you have won. But you know, even you, after you have won, if the, the game should end. So that's why you use break. So if you guess and get this correct, you break the and this one will terminate the program. Now you go to the end run, remove the indentation. Now what if the user guesses the wrong the wrong uh, numbers? What should we do? Now we use an else statement and a print sorry and print sorry. You lost. As simple like that is only 12 lines. So after doing that, let's try and run our program. You can use this button here. Yeah, that's the run run button. So after doing that, uh, sorry, let me kill this terminal. You'll run this button. So after you run this program, you realize that. Uh, uh, it will start asking us to guess so after that you can guess any wrong number 2 press enter 4 enter 9 and so it, it tells you that sorry you lost so let's try and run the ga uh, game again guess 2 enter then I want to guess the correct number which is 7 enter so it tells you congrats you won beautiful